Oli, how are you feeling after that game? Um, mixed feelings, really. I thought the first half were really, really good. Um, I think the second half, obviously, we, we know we, we could do better and we want to do better uh, to try and uh, win the game and not drop the two points. Um, but it's it's another another game unbeaten and it, we'll take it into the next game. Building on what you were saying there, it was great to take the lead. We got off to a really promising start. Yeah, and I, I thought the intensity we showed, um, I think we fully deserved to go in at half-time um, with the 1-0. With the um, like I say, we've got to learn to try and build on that into the second half and, and hopefully get a couple more goals or make sure we at least don't concede. Stoke tried really hard to get back into the game. You did really well to hold them off, so it must be extra disappointing to have conceded close to the end. Yeah, of course, they were, they were always going to come out in the second half and uh, give it a go. Um, but like, that's something, like I say, we've got to learn from. Um, and then in the, hopefully next game we'll be able to rectify that. As you said earlier, looking at the positives, we are now unbeaten in 10 games. That must give you confidence as a squad. Yeah, definitely. I remember saying, I think it was at Knox Forest, that we, we want to keep building momentum. Um, and I think we've done that. Um, we've been we've been hard, obviously hard to beat. And like I say, it's it's we probably feel like it's probably two drop, points dropped today. But like I say, we want to take the positives from it um, moving forward into to Wednesday's game. And what do you think you can take from today? Obviously, it is a quick turnaround for Derby County on Wednesday. Uh, well, what I, what I try and repeat the first half and and carry on into all 90 minutes. Um, we know we can do it, and um, it's just putting it into into practice. Thanks for speaking to us. Thank you.